Apple. How can I help you today? Hi, you guys called me? Yes, ma'am. What about? Yes, ma'am. This call is about your iCloud account. The breach in your iCloud account. There's a breach? Yes, ma'am. There is a breach in your iCloud account. So we have received notification several times regarding this breach. And so let me just uh, explain to you where was this breach happened, okay? I didn't get an alert from my security thing. Yeah, let me explain to you. Actually, okay. ma'am, within the last 24 hours, we received several notifications that your Apple ID has been accessed in Russia and Germany. So, mm -hmm. is that you traveling to those locations and having the access of your account? Yeah, I went there. No, right? I went to Russia and Germany. Yes, when? When did you went there? Uh, earlier. Oh, yeah, so yeah. when did you went there, sir? Can you I've been traveling a lot. Yes, you have been traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. When have you went? When did you this, went there? I went this week. Did you take your device to public Wi-Fi? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's good for you. Then have a good day. Thanks. I took a nap because I wasn't feeling well. And then they woke me up. My phone's been pretty quiet today, for the most part. I didn't get any Medicare scam calls or credit card scam calls, which is unusual. I had a few things I wanted to share with you. First of all, after I told Willie the tech support scammer that Sylvia, my grandma, was dead, he called back later that night and I yelled at him and he tried to get me to get on the computer and I said, well, she doesn't need her computer now, does she? I chewed him out and asked him why he's bothering us while we're grieving. Like what kind of person does that? And he sounded like he didn't even know what to do. He still was just so upset that he spent so much time talking to Sylvia just to have her die later. Apparently he still didn't believe it because he called again and asked, <laughs> Uh, I can speak to grandmother. Where is your grandmother? Where is my grandmother? Huh? We already had several conversations about this, William. Where is your grandmother? Where is my grandmother? Huh? You don't remember? I don't remember. Already speak to your grandmother. Think hard. Beg your pardon? Try to remember, William. I don't I don't remember. You tell me You don't remember bothering us last week after we told you that our grandma died? I knew that was Willie again because he was calling from 309 area code. Idiot. I had another scammer call who at first didn't say anything when I answered, but I could hear the noise in the background. And I was trying to clean the house at the moment and was listening to the band Men at Work. And so I just started singing along. And suddenly he says, oh, will you like music? And I just kept singing. And then after a while, he asked if he could call me back later. And then I got this voicemail from him. I had told him I was 90 years old or something. And then he said, how old are you really? And I said, I'm three. I'm this many. And he said, no, how old are you? And I said, somewhere between three and 90. Hi, Shaken Bacon. It's Sean here once again. Hope you remember me, the lady between three and eighty three. I'm the same guy. So if you want to contact me, my number is zero three one two five double one six. Okay. I will wait. And then yesterday I was FaceTiming with my son Eric when I got another scam call. And this one was about life insurance. 
And I was yelling at him, too late, I'm already dying. Oh, what are you dying of? And I said, I have hair cancer. And at some point I started singing. And then he said, oh, do you have a YouTube channel or something? And I said, no, I'm just a boring housewife. And then he asked if I had Facebook or Instagram. And I said, tell me your Instagram. So he gave it to me. And then I started following him as Irene. <laughs> he sang for me on the phone. So I thought you also like to hear some of that. He's actually a really good singer. And he has a little bit of a singing on his Instagram too. Uh, do you wanna, uh, like, listen to my song? I do want to listen to your song. Oh, wow. But, well, uh, you don't understand me because you don't uh, uh, know about your two language, but I'll try to... Well, okay, let's try. Which one? Oh, I like music in any language. Okay, well, uh, no, not this one. Keep singing. Okay, let's try another one. That's beautiful. I don't think I'll be able to fall back asleep, so I'm just going to figure out what to make for dinner. And then I have rehearsal tonight. Thank you for calling Apple Support. Please hold while we connect you to a representative. Welcome to Apple. How can I assist you? You called me? All right, sir. It seems that the call which you have received was an automated call from Apple Secure Server. Mm -hmm. Because in the last 24 hours, we have received multiple notifications that your account has been logged on from overseas countries multiple times. That is from Germany, Russia, and China. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to verify that are you the one traveling to overseas or is it someone else trying to compromise your identity? Yes, I am on a whirlwind business trip. Okay, so have you been to... Uh, these countries in the last 24 hours? I have. Okay, could you please confirm the locations, please? Same ones you just listed. I'm sorry? The same ones you listed. Okay, could you please confirm it again, sir? China, Russia, Germany, mm -hmm. and I also went to India. One more? Yes, sir. Why? You are a liar. Oh, uh, I believe you are the liar, liar. Scammers are so offended by liars. Welcome to Apple. Hello. How may I help you, sir? Yo, uh, you guys called me? It's the middle of the night. I'm on a business trip. I've been traveling to Russia, Germany, China, and India. Oh, what? Did I ask you? Just letting you know, in case anything looks suspicious. No, it's not look suspicious. Nothing looks suspicious. No. Why are you calling me? What about your mother? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, this is the verification call to you, sir, from Apple server. Can you repeat that? This is a verification call to you from Apple server. A verification for what? 
regarding your iCloud account, sir. Regarding oh. the breach in your iCloud account. There is a breach? Yes, sir. There's a breach in your iCloud account. I haven't noticed anything. Okay. So right now you have not noticed anything? I haven't noticed anything <laughs> suspicious. Okay, actually, sir, let me just tell you, our security department, they have a, okay, they have informed us and to record notifications several times that there's a breach, all right? <laughs> so the hackers are connected to your devices right now. Oh, no. Yes, sir. So, like, uh, may I know, like, have you ever shared your Apple ID and a password with your family member? Uh, we share the, the same... ID over a couple devices. For instance, my children use the iPad. Okay. That's connected to my Apple ID. That's connected to your Apple. And also to my phone. How many devices are connected? We have two devices connected to my Apple ID. Connected to the Apple ID always. Mm-hmm. In that case, it is not safe for you because this is a hacking issue. Oh, no. All the information. All right, so do one thing. Let me connect you to the security department and they will go further ahead and, okay, diagnose the problem for you. Okay, thanks so much. Oh, yes, so do not, okay, right now, do not uh, do anything right now on your devices and do not share your anything, Apple ID and password with your family members, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so do one thing. Yeah, so let me guide you step by step now. Let's put the call on the speaker, sir. You want me to put it on speaker? Yes. Okay. Okay, so is your devices nearby you right now? You can grab any of your devices that is connected to your... Okay, I grabbed my phone. Okay, you grab your phone, okay. Mm-hmm. The phone, and then open, open the app store. Open the App Store, okay. Yes, sir. App Store. Okay. Sorry? Okay, now push. Open the App Store and push the search option. Okay. Okay, so type there. In the search, type there Zoho Assist. Let me spell it for you. Type Z O H O. Z O H O. Yes, then put a space. Okay. Put a space and then type Astis. A S S I S T. Astis? Astis, yes. A S S I S T. Astis. I'm having a hard time hearing that. A S S. One more S. That's pretty profane. Okay, let me repeat you from the beginning. Mm -hmm. As an apple, then S as in Sam. Uh huh. Then again, one more S as in Sandy. Okay, how many more S's after I, that? No, only two S. Okay. I, 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 I as an ice cream. Okay. And S, S as in Sam again, and then T as in Tom. Assassin? Like the way I am assisting you. Oh. Oh, okay. Zoho okay. assist. Oh, yes. So now, okay, in the suggestion, just have a look in the suggestion. Can, you will see Zoho assist customer. Can you see? Can I see what? With the, name, with the name of Zoho, you will see Zoho assist customer. Can you see? Zoho. Okay. Yes. I don't know what Zoho is. No, not Zoho. It's Zoho SS customer. Can you see? Are you trying to get into my phone, lady? No, sir. Sounds like you're trying to get into my phone. No, sir. What are you trying to do? Sir. What's your name? We will only, okay, you and me will have the interference so that we can guide you how to get Okay, how to block the hackers. What's your name? My name is Liddy. Liddy? Yes. 
Okay. Let me mark that down. Okay. Liddy. Okay. What are you trying to do with this app? Trying to get into my phone? No, sir. What are you doing? You and me will have the interference, okay, so that I can guide you step by step. What do you mean by interference? Interference is like to fix the hacking issue. So you mean you're trying to get into my phone? No. You're trying to hack my phone, aren't you, lady? Mistaken, sir. If we have, if we hack the phone, then you are the one you will be hacked to now. You're warning me about hackers, but I think you're the hacker. Hacker. If I'm a hacker, then why would I warn you, sir? Why are you talking? Because you're. Does not make any sense. It does make sense because you're a hacker, and the scam is that you're telling me I have hackers so that you can hack into my supposedly hacked phone. You would think they would blacklist my number, right? <laughs>